Okay. So the first card you've got is the moon. So there's big changes coming in for you. You're a bit confused about what to do next. Maybe you're waiting for some kind of insight to come in. Not seeing very, things very, very clearly as well. There's a little bit of clouds within this card. Uh, so this is about waiting for um, you know things to come become clear uh, before you make big decisions. But big change is coming in for you. The moon moves very quickly, so things will start moving on for you pretty quickly. You've got some kind of legal issue that you've got to sort out there. There's involvement with the law. So some kind of legal case, maybe a legal decision that you're waiting for. You've got the Cain card. And this is saying that you need to pay attention to your health. So make sure you're looking out for that health. And if you have any medical concerns, make sure you're getting some uh, medical input or going and seeing a doctor at least. You've got the, a, fair hair, a fair woman in the back, um, in, in the past rather. <laughs> Um, this is dealing with a relationship with a woman uh, who has fair blonde hair or even grey hair. So an older woman possibly that you've had uh, some dealings with in the past. And you need to defend yourself. So there might have been some kind of argument or some kind of problem that you've had with this woman. Uh, and then you've got the shield. You've got yourself up in defense over there. So a need to defend yourself. So there seems to be some kind of battle that you are having with this particular person and you're protecting yourself. You're having to defend yourself. It might be even stressing you out quite a bit, and that's the reason why you're having some health issues. And it could be some kind of legal issue that you're dealing with, with this fair-haired woman or fair woman. Now, going to the future, you've got the fire, so strong emotion, passionate, passionate love or hate. So whoever this person is that you're dealing with, you're very defensive about the whole thing. You seem to have some kind of strong emotional connection with them because it, they're evoking very, very strong emotions. So it's, you know, whatever they're causing, they're causing a lot of depression, um, whatever the situation is, you're very upset about the whole thing. And there's a lot of strong emotions, um, you know, this is either love or hate. Uh, so whatever they're evoking, um, they're causing um, a lot of turmoil in your life, a lot of drama. You can see there's a lot of fire in this card. You've got the box as well here, and this is you will receive a gift. So amongst all of this, it seems like something good is coming in for you. Now, this might not be a physical present. This might well be a um, a gift from the universe. But since we're in Capricorn season and this was your birthday month, you may have received a gift or you may pro possibly be receiving a gift due to the fact that it is uh, your birthday month. So happy birthday, Capricorn, if I didn't wish it, wish you happy birthday. Uh, but it looks like whatever the situation you're dealing with is causing a lot of upset for you. Um, but, you know, there is something good coming in for you. So this could be a, a, some kind of a good news that comes in in the form of a gift, or it could well be a physical present that actually comes in. There is some legal issue that's going to also be sorted out during this particular period. So those are the uh, energies for that month. So I'm going to be drawing uh, cards from the Tarot Mucha for the main read. So you've got the Hermit card over here, um, you've got the Strength card, the Ace of Cups, and the King of Swords, with the Five of Rods. So there's some kind of situation that you've been through uh, recently, um, you've got that Five of Rods, there's a lot of problems. Um, you know, it seems to have had an, a legal uh, outcome as well. The law seems to have been involved, or something official seems to be ha have been involved, a decision being made or will be made with regards to whatever this problem is. Whatever this uh, problem was, there's been a lot of financial loss, so this could have been a loss of a job as well, and you've lost it possibly because you've, there's been a lot of problems and drama. If this is a relationship, then whatever happened, it ended up in a divorce, but it seems like there was a breakdown of uh, the whole situation, a lot of drama that went on and some kind of, maybe you had to cut your losses and leave as well. You certainly had to leave because you had to make an, a brand new start with that Ace of Cups. So being very upset about what happened, emotionally overwhelmed in a sense, but having to make a fresh start as well. And having to draw on all your reserves because you've got that strength card over there. So you are sorting through this problem. Uh, you know, you've had to sweet talk your way a little bit out of the situation. But it's caused you to be very, very, uh, you know, to isolate yourself, to keep to yourself and be very vigilant. You can see she's watching her back as well. Um, this is a thing, a, a card that's also saying that you're trying to focus a lot more on yourself and focus a lot more on your work 
as well. So if this is a personal issue, it's caused a lot of problems. You may have lost a home, you may have lost your job uh, because of all these battles, and then it had legal implications over there with that King of Swords. Uh, but it's made you, you know, maybe you've even stopped, you had to go and buy a new home and make a fresh start somewhere else. Um, and like I said, um, it's kept you very isolated from everybody else. You're looking for the truth as well as to why this happened. And you're feeling very bound, uh, very, very um, isolated, very alone, uh, you know, as though everybody has abandoned you. You're having to rely on your own, uh, your, you know, yourself completely. Nobody's there to give you that helping hand as well. And you're feeling very, very alone. Um, so coming in for you, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. So whatever the situation was, it's now about to change. You've got your financial independence. You're working for, for yourself. <coughs> and it will bring in the money. It will rope in the money. So whatever loss that you've incurred, uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be uh, remunerated for it, really. It looks like money is coming in. There's stability coming in. There could possibly be a new home. Uh, but whatever is it, whatever happened... Uh, you will uh, recover financially from it. You're getting le some legal news coming in over there. You've got this Knight of Swords, um, rather the Page of Swords bringing in this legal news, rather. So uh, there is a positive outcome. Whatever this legal decision is that you're waiting for, there is a positive outcome, and it's going to generate finances. So money is coming in, whatever that decision is. And you're going to be able to make some plans for the future uh, because you're going to get you know, substantial payoff of some sort there. So in the past, you've got the star card over here. So you have been, you know, uh, digging deep within you to look for some kind of reason to go on, really. Maybe looking at the past a lot, but there's been some divine guidance that has come in for you. You've also received news or messages or, you know, where people are giving you some information that is allowing you to see the bigger picture and move forward. You are very stressed out. Uh, you are not sleeping well at night. You've got that nine of swords over there. And this is just feeling very, very anxious and possibly waiting for the worst uh, case scenario, waiting for the worst, expecting the worst to happen as well. So a lot of dread in this card here. You've got the chariot here. So you want to move on. You want to make a fresh start, but things are a bit stuck. You can see both these sphinxes are, are just not moving. Uh, so you haven't made up your mind about what you want to do, but you certainly want to make a brand new start and you're trying to find a direction over there. And that's been on your mind, trying to look for what you want to do. You possibly want to move home or relocate or start fresh somewhere else. At the moment, you're defending yourself quite a bit. There's a lot of problems that you're still facing and you're trying to sort it out one at a time. You're getting through it, but very slowly. And it seems like, you know, you're, it's almost as though, you know, you have your back against the wall as well. But trying to sort things out uh, one step at a time. Now, news coming in for you, but things are starting to move. So you need to get organized with this eight of rods. Uh, decide what project you want to focus on and go for it. There's a lot of communication coming in and there might be a lot of travel and things are going to start moving. So where you're feeling a bit stuck, uh, things are going to start moving. There's also a lot of communication with a lot of people over there. So although you've got this nine of um, the nine, the hermit card over there, you know, you can see she's just stuck sitting over there waiting for things to come in. It looks like things are going to come in quite quickly for you and you're going to have to start moving. Uh, and, you know, the, the um, uh, color of the cards change as well. You start getting a lot more rods cards and you can see there's a fire energy coming in over there. And the sun card comes in for you. So success coming in, good news coming in for you over there. Uh, you know, brand new beginnings, fresh starts. And even if it's on the job situation, this is like something that comes in for you. This could be an overseas job, but getting over all those obstacles that you have been facing and moving forward. There's also clarity that comes in there with that card. And with the sun card, things start moving very, very quickly. So you just be aware that you're going to have to start, uh, you know, knuckling down and doing uh, doing some hard work there. You've got the Queen of Pentacles, so you are waiting for financial success to come in for you. You're looking for some kind of uh, leadership position in your work, uh, you know, where you work with people or something to do with finances. You are waiting for that. And that's in your hopes and fears. Now, going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Magician card of you, the Ace of Pentacles, and the five of swords so uh, magician card showing that you have all the skills that you you need you have everything you are well trained up for it uh, and you are it's about time that you manifest things so you're going to have to be very proactive you're going to be pretty busy as well soon so multitasking doing a lot of things is a card of gemini a lot of communication a lot of travel working to deadlines as well and you're going to be able to manifest this new job 
So you need to put yourself out there, put your CV out there, uh, you know, and get the ball rolling because a new opportunity is coming in and it's all based on what you are doing. So, you, you know, nobody's going to come in and, and give you that hand. It's going to be what you do that's going to give you that nine of pentacles energy, which is going to give you that financial independence. So you have to get out there and be proactive. Uh, you know, like I said, with this uh, page of swords, this could even be the signing of a new contract as far as work goes as well. And it's what you manifest. It's how you communicate that's going to be able to manifest this job for you. And it's definitely going to bring in new money there. It's going to allow you to get victory over everybody else and walk away from whatever situation you dealt with. So in the end, you are going to be the winner, um, you know, having faced a very, very difficult situation, going through a lot of problems. But in the end, you are the one that's going to win out, you know, you're going to beat the competition hands down and you're going to be able to move forward. This is turning your back on the situation and walking away. So all that loss that you went through and all those problems that you went through, the outcome is pretty positive. Things are going to start moving pretty quickly for you. Um, and soon, you know, uh, you're going to have to just get through issues, sort out a little bit of problems, but once you get that going and make up your mind, there's tons of success that comes in with that sun card. So all these problems that you've been dealing with or whatever you've been facing, don't stress out about it because everything is going to work in your favor. You've got the High Priestess card over here. I need for you to do some research. Listen to your intuition and have patience. And consider carefully what you want before acting. So this could be about you know going and doing some further training or further study as well with this High Priestess card. But also this is following your instincts and going by what you know is right for you. You've got the Eight of Earth over here, so skilled work is re required. Sk skilled work is rewarded, rather, and learning all there is to know about a topic. So this is about going back to school. And with a High Priestess card and the Eight of Earth, it's about some, doing some further training, doing some kind of bridging course, um, you know, doing something on the educational front to get yourself up to, uh, to standard or to improve your skill set um, in order for you to open the doors for your um, um, money to come in. I think with this magician card, it's a card ruled by um, Gemini, which rules um, Mercury, you know, and um, Mercury rules Gemini, rather. And with a high priestess card and the eight of earth over there, this is about further learning, further study as well, further communication. So you may need to do a, a bridging course or some kind of study get that skill set up because the magician also talks about skill sets or you know your skills or your talents uh, generally with a magician you, know, you usually have what it takes but you can further that uh, by going and doing some further training and that's going to give you uh, the opportunity to even open the door for new money to come and get in a promotion um, you know and uh, get uh, better off the competition so uh, this might be something you need to consider about going back to school with that eight of earth. And that's going to be the way that you open the doors for yourself. You've got the two of air over here. So being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending like there's no problem. So you are at a point uh, where you can't seem to decide what you want to do. Uh, if you're having problems with somebody, it doesn't seem like that there's going to be any kind of reconciliation. This is about reaching a stalemate. Both of you are being stubborn and none of you want to budge. But if this is about a decision with regards to uh, what you want to do next, uh, you know, you need to think very carefully and go for it. Make a decision and don't procrastinate because that is the thing that is now going to be holding you back. Once you make the decision, things will move pretty quickly for you there. Um, and, uh, you know, you have to make a decision based on logic. So look at what the benefits are from that decision about even going back and doing some further study and see the long-term uh, implications and then make that decision and go for it. Don't procrastinate. Uh, you know, if you miss an opportunity, it may never ever present itself again. So if there's an opportunity that presents itself, you take it or grab it with both hands there in order for you to get success and move on. So I do hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.